So, funny story. I made a really awesome video about embellishing this fun file folder flippy journal that we did. And then when I rewatched it, it it was not good. It was it was like this most of the time. So, I'm redoing it and I'm going to pay attention and keep it in, but I'm just going to show you kind of what I did and tell you the process just so you can see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so um, we made our fun little journal and then I needed to come back and embellish it. So I had this cute little tag and I really love to sew these little lace pulls on and just keep the back inked up a little bit and use that for a writing spot. Maybe put a picture here. That goes there. And this is going to kind of be my happy thoughts journal, positive things that have happened, count your blessings kind of a journal. So I called it Sunshine. So there's the first one and this is just a fun little mini tag and random number that's just to add some interest. Um, usually when I do this I just have all sorts of little ephemera that I pick that will go with it and then I just start just tucking and deciding what will work where. This is some avocado dyed lace which turns out it goes pink. I did not know that until I tried it. It was really fun. Um, so we have another little tag for that one and I did the lace again just to kind of echo. Um, this is some coffee dyed paper that I put right here for the back of this and I'll probably just write here and then I just did a little 2020 behind a little behind it I put a little tag and um, this one I just put joy and as I'm going through as I was deciding what things should go where I kept going back and closing it to make sure I wasn't blocking something or something wasn't not working with another part of it so I just checked um, I did my three little file folders inked inside of them and I decided my three positive words to write about would be friends, remember, and gorgeous because we are all just gorgeous and we need to hear that a little bit more. So there it is right in your journal for you. Um, on this one I put these cute little angel babies. They're just cute. They, they make me feel happy, so I put them there. Um, and then I put this flower here, and I really liked that one because when I shut this, then I like that you can kind of see that echo right there with the rose, um, just to give you an idea of the thought process. And just some random numbers. Um, I had this tag in my ephemera stash, Opportunity, and it's this beautiful coffee dyed paper that I did with some I found these music books at a thrift store and stocked up so I have so much vintage music now super awesome find um, on the back of this I decided to make this cute little pocket it's just a little teeny tuck right there and my little lovebirds and they're just cute as can be um, in here I put a coffee dyed a little tag you can maybe see the little stripies on it but I love it. It's just thick, fun. I could put some words here if I wanted, but I didn't want to overcomplicate it. Um, and then I put this just barely covering the side of that little window. I thought that would be fun. And I liked how it echoed the little yellow right here and kind of tied back into this coffee dyed file folder. Um, and in here I have this. You guys are going to see my old ratty sweatshirt. Okay, I have this tag, and I just did lace on the top, and then there's some neutral on the back to kind of journal, and then this coffee dyed paper that I used before, and that was just the leftover piece, and just made this to be a little hole on it. So, super simple, super fun. And then on the back of it, I just made a little collage, a few words. Um, I think I'm going to do a pocket in here, but we haven't got that far yet. So one thing at a time, but I wanted to share with you a little bit of the process of how I embellish it. 
and it looks so fun when it's all shut and you can see it's pretty thick so anyway I'd love to hear about how you embellish and what your process looks like so let me know have a great day bye